we're here to discuss foreign policy news, but I just have to start with one bit of domestic news. Uh, the raid on Trump's home in Mar-a-Lago last evening, um, just from an international perspective, uh, Amy, I'll come to you. I know you were speaking about this on the BBC earlier. Um, what are the larger implications to keep in mind here for the world? Well, I think the, the first thought that everyone had on their minds is, of course, what does this mean for 2024? You know, Trump is reportedly still weighing uh, whether or not he's going to run uh, in a few years for the presidency again, what impact this may have. And one thing that came to my mind was um, it's been very striking the way that the Republican Party has has really closed ranks around Trump around this. That's despite some of the tensions that had been beginning to emerge over the January 6 hearings and the revelations there. We heard uh, House Minority Speaker Kevin McCarthy yesterday saying that, you know, if, if the Republicans take the House in the midterms, which is a possibility later this year, that they will, you know, launch an investigation into this investigation into Trump, um, into the DOJ and the FBI. Um, and what this reminded me actually of was that there was the first impeachment into Trump. Um, uh, first impeachment investigation into Trump, I should say, where he was accused of trying to leverage military aid over the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, in 2019. What we saw then was this interesting dynamic where a lot of Republicans felt that that, that Trump's call with Zelensky was not a perfect call, as Trump described it. But in public, they rallied around the president because they did genuinely believe that this was not, an, it was not a fair investigation that this was some kind of partisan witch hunt. And so what I'm wondering now is that, you know, despite some of the tensions around Trump, his conduct around January 6, is whether this investigation is actually gonna have a bit of a rally around the flag effect around Trump and the Republican party as we, as we look towards 2024.